Welcome back everybody to the All Laptop Chronicles, continue with my playthrough of Metal Slug. First mission for the Neo Geo Pocket. Alright, this slowdown in the emulator, I definitely don't like it. Oh my god. Apparently I've been getting hit by these bombs pretty often. So we're in the middle of mission 6. Nice. Shit. At first I thought I was like imagining essentially that um, I was getting my health bar increased but I compared it with the first video and yeah it is slightly increased. That's food, that's a rocket launcher. Totally worth it. Oh no. Right in my face. Okay, I'm taking all the fucking hits apparently. Can I actually make it to that side? And get right in front of the tank? Wait, I can't. There we go. Okay, now I can. There we go. What do we have now? Wow. Moving platforms. There's a lot of platforming in this uh, specific version. I, I mean, the regular re Metal Slugs were mostly, if not only, focused on uh, the... Um, the shooting part. But right here there is a lot of platforming, which I am not complaining about by the way. You know, I love platforming or platformers in general. I mean I love it when they combine like gameplay styles. Okay, what do I do there? Okay, you can actually can time it by jumping and then landing on the very same platform. Perfect. So just a matter of timing. Sorry for this weird slowdowns that I'm experiencing as, as I play. Again, it's like the only functional Neo Geo Pocket emulator that I have. Well, I can play it on the Wii, which is kind of more stable, but... You know, I'm not a big fan of playing certain games with controllers, especially games that I've never played before. Is that it? No. So I'm actually fighting a, a dude now. As the actual boss. Wow, that was actually easy. I think I did it without taking a single hit. Dude, what's with the slowdowns? Okay. Where are we now? Mission 9. Okay, I think I'm skipping some numbers, right? Discovery of a secret passage. I don't think I got like a secret exit or something, right? I'm sure they probably are a thing, but... Okay, back to the Metal Slug. Actually, I haven't used it since uh, Mission Zero. Toilet paper. Well, even though we have these slowdowns, for the most part, the game is playable and everything is kind of smooth. So, I'm, I'm not even complaining. I mean... It's not going to become unplayable or anything. If that is, that's the case, I will fucking quit. Because if it is something that really pisses me off, it's technical inconvenience. Uh, isn't it easier to use uh, bombs? No. Seriously. What's with these mines? Also, the dogs are getting crazy. Because it's garbage day! Okay. Oh shit, just saw the mine. Actually, what this emulator is doing kind of reminds me a little bit of the... Um, of the 3DS emulator. That it loads, or it slows down when it loads new content. Which would be kind of funny. 
I, I'm sure I can run over these dudes. Okay, now it would be easy to destroy those mines for obvious reasons. I'm gonna say that this game is actually fair so far, like, even though it's based on a health system and you can take only a few hits in general, um, the, the health refills or the pickups are, for the most part, quite generous. And those coins, remember, allow me to get continuous eventually. And also, once you continue, you can get from certain checkpoints, so you don't have to like restart the entire mission. At least, that's what we saw when fighting the previous boss, well sorry, two bosses ago or something. When I decided to take a death, just to see where I spawned with full health that time around. Alright, that's a... Uh, wait, is that a dead end? Hold on, let's keep exploring. No. You cannot continue, so I guess I gotta keep going down. Yeah, if this is uh, a little slowdown that we experience every now and then bothers you, please let me know. Fuck. Probably this bothers you more. The fucking seizure alert. MSG. Alright, next area. Mission 10, Night Flight. I mean, we can clearly tell what kind of level we're gonna be dealing with, right? Yeah, my life bar is still like the same. So yeah, it constantly switches between, um, you know, regular shooting levels, run and guns, I mean, uh, Metal Slug, Door exploration, a little bit of a maze or whatever, but you know, like platforming, uh, shoot them ups, you know. It combines several game styles, and all of them are executed in a great way. I believe the sequel to this second mission was more. Based on on the on the exploration elements, could be wrong about that, but you know I don't like this missile so much. It's kind of slow. I mean, it could clearly be more powerful than anything. Press button at count. Okay, you. Okay, what happens? I die right away. So yeah, this is basically what you have to do in case you get your plane destroyed. I'll try not to get it destroyed then. It's basically what I told you about the prison camp thing. You know, once you lose your metal slide, you have to like redo a little section to escape from prison only using your knife. I think that was kind of similar, like, you have to do a, s a special sequence to to continue the level as yourself, now that you don't have the plane anymore. Alright, back to the Vulcan, and I think this is the way to go, in my humble opinion. I am definitely getting that. Remember guys, not every level has bosses. Apparently every certain amount of stages you fight a boss, clearly. So honestly I don't know what's a good indication of, of a level having a boss or not. Well, I was actually expecting a boss here for some reason. Uh, I don't have any bomb type. Just the Vulcan. I'm not complaining, I'm just... 
just seeing if there was any other way to attack him right now, but apparently the Vulcan is basically the way to go. Well, this whole thing is the weak point, so... I guess we can just shoot anywhere. Hopefully it's not gonna take that long. I'm still taking a hit or two every single time. I, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Gotta watch it. Alright, this time... I did so much better. I guess I gotta be less greedy when attacking, when shooting. That will help. No, I wish this guy actually died soon. Oh shit, no. Oh my god, every single time. The very last little shot. Wait, what? Just when I got an item. Probably the old bombs or something. Okay, that was the EX thing, whatever that gives me. Dude, my hitbox, so big. Alright. Dude, stop. Have you considered letting me win? Look at my life. Baby life left. Right dude, die already. I'm tired. Yeah, I kind of got the pattern, but the problem is that the boss just drags on forever. And eventually one of these shots are, is gonna get me. This guy doesn't want to die. Yeah, I've been like doing better here. Not getting hit a single time anymore. Still fucking tedious. Please die now. I got bombs! Oh my god, just when I died. Oh, didn't I save after that? Oh shit. Well, I mean, even if I would have killed them fast, this was like the, the last thing I was intending to show in this video, regardless. So it won't make any difference in terms of the potential progress I could have made in this particular video. 
But yeah, I've been stuck in this boss battle for around 4 minutes or so. Dude, die already! So fucking stubborn. Dude, I'm starting to, like, think that I'm not shooting the right, like, weak point? That would be fucking stupid, though. There it is. That took for fucking ever and a half. Anyway. That's a victory, regardless. Okay, I would say that now half of the levels are finished. So, I'm gonna stop this here. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next time.